This sign means A. Do not enter. B. Yield the right of way. C. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. A. Do not enter. This sign is posted on one-way streets and other roadways where a driver is not allowed to enter. A driver may see this sign if attempting to enter an expressway ramp in the wrong direction. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Stop sign ahead. C. No U-turn. A. Slippery when wet. All roads are slippery and dangerous when wet. This sign warns of conditions that can cause a driver to lose control of a car. A driver should slow down when coming upon wet pavement because it takes longer to stop. A sign with this shape means A. No passing zone. B. Right turn permitted on red. C. Yield right of way. A. No passing zone. A pennant-shaped sign marks the beginning of a no-passing zone. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. No turning. C. No left turn. A. No U-turn. This sign indicates that you may not make a U-turn. You cannot turn around to go in the opposite direction at an intersection where this sign is posted. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. This sign means A. Cars on the right move first. B. You have the right of way. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When approaching this sign, you must yield the right of way. Slow down and let vehicles and pedestrians crossing your path pass before you proceed. If necessary, stop before going ahead. Children on bicycles should be given extra space by motor vehicle operators because A. They do not have the same physical reflexes as adults. B. They are smaller and more difficult to see than adults. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Children are often the least predictable pedestrians and the most difficult pedestrians to see. Take extra care to look out for children, especially near schools, bus stops, playgrounds, parks, and ice cream trucks. Be aware of children riding bikes on the sidewalk, as they may come onto the road unexpectedly. This sign means A. Merge right. B. Divided highway begins. C. Lane ends. C. Lane ends. This sign indicates that the right lane ends ahead. A merging maneuver will be required for drivers in that lane. The maximum speed limit on a rural interstate highway is A. 60 miles per hour. B. 70 miles per hour. C. 55 miles per hour. B. 70 miles per hour. The maximum traveling speed is 70 miles per hour on a rural interstate in Georgia. You should follow this speed limit when traveling on a rural interstate unless the speed limit is otherwise posted. You want to park downhill on a two way road and there is no curb. Which way do you turn your front wheels? A straight ahead. B. Right, toward the side of the road. C. Left, toward the center of the road. B. Right, toward the side of the road.
When parking facing downhill on a road with or without a curb, or when facing uphill on a road without a curb, turn your front wheels toward the edge of the road so your vehicle will roll away from traffic if the brakes fail. However, when parking uphill on a road with a curb, turn your wheels toward the center of the road so the vehicle will roll into the curb if the brakes fail. If your wheels drop off the roadway or pavement edge, you should a. Wait until it is safe to do so, then gradually re-enter the roadway. b. Turn back onto the roadway immediately. c. Stop. a. Wait until it is safe to do so, then gradually re-enter the roadway. If your wheels drop off the roadway or pavement edge, do not attempt to turn back onto the roadway immediately. Instead, reduce your speed, check traffic, and gradually turn back onto the roadway when it is safe to do so. Regulatory signs are A. Green B. Yellow C. White C. White Regulatory signs inform drivers of specific laws that must be obeyed. Displayed laws may be about traffic direction, lane use, turning, speed, parking, or special situations. Regulatory signs are commonly white squares or rectangles with black, red, or green letters or symbols. Night driving presents unique problems because a. The speed limit is increased at night. b. There are fewer cars on the roads at night. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. Night driving creates a unique set of problems for drivers. Due to the reduced visibility, it can be difficult to judge distance and the traveling speeds of other vehicles when driving at night. Drivers can see only as far as their headlights allow. When you see this road sign, you should a. Keep right. b. Keep left. c. Pass with caution. a. Keep right. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that a divided highway is beginning and cars should keep to the right. This white sign means a. The railroad crossing is controlled. Continue at your regular speed. b. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. c. Stop at the railroad tracks and wait for a signal before crossing. b. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must look, listen, slow down, and prepare to stop. Let any trains pass before you proceed. This yellow warning sign means A. You are approaching a school or school crosswalk. B. Slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. This sign is placed on roads near schools to warn drivers to slow down, drive with caution, and watch for children. This bicyclist is signaling A. A left turn. B. An upcoming stop. C. A right turn. A. A left turn. Bicycles do not have turn signals so bicyclists use hand and arm signals to alert other drivers to their intentions. If a bicyclist puts their left arm straight out, they are signaling that they intend to turn left. This sign means A. Winding road ahead. B. Do not enter. C. Pedestrian crossing. A. Winding road ahead. This sign warns of a winding road ahead.
prior to entering a curve. A. Activate your turn signal. B. Reduce your speed. C. Brake hard. B. Reduce your speed. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed limit, based on road conditions, but it is illegal to drive any faster than the posted speed limit. Some conditions which require reduced speed for safety include approaching curves or hills where visibility is limited, driving on slippery roads, and driving on roads where animals and pedestrians are present. If the driver of an oncoming vehicle fails to dim their headlights? A. Look toward the center of the roadway. B. Look toward the right side of the road. C. Look straight ahead. B. Look toward the right side of the road. If an oncoming driver fails to dim their headlights, look toward the right side of the road. This will keep you from being blinded by the other vehicle's headlights and allow you to see enough of the road to stay on course. Do not try to retaliate by keeping your bright lights on. This sign indicates a A. Railroad crossing B. Pedestrian crossing C. No passing zone You see pedestrians near the road. You should A. Sound your horn and maintain your speed. B. Speed up to clear the area quickly. C. Slow down and pass with caution. Various traffic control devices in construction and maintenance work areas are the color A. Red B. Orange C. Yellow This sign means A. No turns B. No outlet C. No U-turns C. No U-turns this sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited. You may see a sign like this at an intersection that commonly has oncoming traffic. Interstate driving requires drivers to A. Have the ability to safely drive at increased speeds. B. Be constantly alert. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Safe use of the interstate demands drivers be constantly alert and capable of driving at high speeds. Water on the road can cause a vehicle to hydroplane. Your car may hydroplane at speeds as low as a. 45 miles per hour b. 35 miles per hour c. 40 miles per hour b. 35 miles per hour. Hydroplaning occurs when there is standing water on a roadway. At speeds up to 35 miles per hour, most tires will channel water away from the tire. As your speed increases past 35 miles per hour, tires cannot channel the water as well and your tires may start to lose contact with the road and ride over the water like a set of water skis. This is the shape and color of a fill in the blank sign. A. Stop. B. Wrong way. C. Yield. C. Yield. Downward facing triangular signs mean drivers must yield. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at a marked stop line, if it exists. You are involved in a minor collision at an intersection. There are no injuries and there is very little vehicle damage. You should A. Leave your vehicle in the traffic lane until law enforcement arrives. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. C. Not move your vehicle for any reason. B. Move your vehicle out of the traffic lane, if possible. 
After a collision, if no one has been injured or killed and you can safely do so, you should move your vehicle out of the traffic lane. If the rear of your vehicle is skidding to the left, you should a. Not turn your steering wheel. b. Turn your steering wheel to the left to correct the skid. c. Turn your steering wheel to the right to correct the skid. This sign means a. Railroad ahead. b. No passing zone. c. School zone. This sign means a. No passing zone. b. Slow moving vehicle. c. Two way traffic. a. No passing zone. A triangular yellow sign with black lettering indicates a no passing zone. It will appear on the left side of a two way, two lane roadway at the beginning of an area where prohibitive pavement markings are also used. You have allowed the wheels of your vehicle to run off the edge of the pavement. What should you do first? A. Turn the front wheels slightly to the left to edge the car back onto the pavement. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. C. Apply the brakes and turn the front wheels sharply to the left. B. Hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. If your vehicle leaves the roadway, hold the steering wheel firmly, release the gas pedal, and gently apply the brakes. Wait until your speed has reduced, check the traffic, and look for a place to safely return to the roadway by merging back into traffic. Overcompensating by jerking the wheel to return to the roadway can cause you to lose control of your vehicle or may cause your car to go into other lanes of traffic. This sign means a. School crossing. b. School zone. c. Pedestrian crossing. c. Pedestrian crossing. This sign marks the presence of a crosswalk. Be alert to any pedestrians that may be crossing the roadway. You are entering a freeway. Check traffic on the freeway by a. Using your rear view and side mirrors. B. Using your rear view mirror. C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder. C. Using your side mirror and looking over your shoulder. When entering any roadway, you must be aware of traffic conditions. Use your side mirror and look over your shoulder to help you see and anticipate traffic when entering a freeway. This sign indicates a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass. b. The maximum legal height of a vehicle allowed in this state. c. The maximum width of a vehicle allowed on the highway. a. The distance from road surface to a bridge or overpass. This is a low clearance warning sign. It indicates the distance from the road surface to the bottom of a bridge or overpass in this case, 12 feet, 6 inches. This red and white sign means you should a. Stop and check for traffic coming from both directions before proceeding. b. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. c. Maintain a steady speed and check for traffic coming from all directions. b. Give the right of way to traffic on the road you wish to enter or cross. A three-sided yield sign indicates that you must slow down and be ready to stop, if necessary, to let any vehicle, bicyclist, or pedestrian pass before you proceed. In this case, you do not have the right of way. If a child is about to run into the street, you should a. Start to prepare to slow down. b. Flash your headlights. c. Sound a sharp blast of your horn. 
C. Sound a sharp blast of your horn. If there is danger, you may need to sound a sharp blast on your horn. Do this when a child or any other pedestrian is about to enter into the street in front of your moving vehicle. If pedestrians are illegally crossing in the middle of the street instead of in a crosswalk, you a. Must stop for them. b. Do not have to stop for them. c. Should honk your horn at them. a. Must stop for them. You must yield to pedestrians at all times. If the pedestrians are jaywalking or crossing the street where they should not be, you must still stop for them. When approaching a person who is crossing the street while using a white cane or guide dog, you should a. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. b. Honk your horn as you proceed past them. c. Carefully drive around them. a. Stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. When approaching a pedestrian who is using a white cane or guide dog while crossing the street, you must stop until the person is well away from your path of travel. Always yield the right of way to blind pedestrians. This road sign means a. Sharp right turn ahead. b. A road joins from the right. c. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then sharply to the left. This road sign means A. Watch for people crossing your path. B. No passing zone. C. Work zone ahead. C. Work zone ahead. This orange warning sign tells drivers that an area of roadwork is upcoming. When traveling through a work zone, stay alert for temporary traffic control devices.